Are birth defects more common after vasectomy reversal? Hi, this is Dr. David Wilson with TheReversalClinic.com. We are the largest provider of vasectomy reversal in the country because we are helping families grow. This question of birth defects after reversal uh, comes up every now and then. Couples or patients are questioning whether there's increased risk to the baby because in fact it would be born after reversal. You may have heard some general statements regarding this or, or read on websites or forums, but what is the scientific evidence? What are the statistics? Well, you may hear some things you're not going to hear anywhere else. I'll be giving you the scientific evidence describing the rate of birth defects after vasectomy reversal. This evidence is found in the landmark study, the vasovasectomy study group trial. Just a couple of years ago, in 15, a worldwide review of the surgical literature once again started its introduction to the article with a statement that this is the landmark study. Done many years ago, 1991, published by Dr. Arnold Belker and four other expert microsurgeons from across the country, five different centers involved in the trial published in Journal of Urology. And this excellent study looked at all different facets of vasectomy reversal, looked at many issues surrounding microsurgical vasectomy reversal, including the question of birth defects. So this is the science. It's a very, very reliable study, but just one study. How much weight should we put on just one study? Well, I can see how huge this trial is yourself. You can do a quick search on Google Scholar. Put in scholar.google.com and get to the Google Scholar search bar and put in vasectomy reversals. This will bring up the world literature regarding vasectomy reversals. And at the top of the page on this Google search Scholar site, will be this vasovasectomy study group trial. It, the total title is described or written as the results of 1,469 microsurgical vasectomy reversals reported by the vasovasectomy study group. And it's a wonderful trial. It's described there in a paragraph or two and on the, and on the top of the Google search page on Scholar, you'll find description of the article and then on the left lower portion of that description, you'll find some blue letters and it'll say 525 citations. Over 500 times this article has been mentioned or described or cited by other scientific journals and articles. Over 500 times. This is a huge, huge study. Very, very respected study. Very well done study by expert microsurgeon group in a multi-center trial in the United States. There, I don't believe, is another study over, with over 200 citations in the vasectomy reversal literature. There are a handful, I believe, over 120 citations, but this is a very reliable study. We put a lot of weight in the findings. What did they find regarding birth defects in children after a reversal? Well, they were able to follow 291 children in this landmark study. 291 children were available for follow-up, and of those 291, three had uh, birth defects. Uh, three of the, of the 291 had a congenital anomaly, or 1%. Now, this 1%, how does that compare to the known birth defect rate in the U.S. population at large. Well, if you searched for that fact, you'd find anywhere from 3 to 5% birth defect rate reported in the United States. And I cite one very reliable source, Annual Summary of Vital Statistics, published in Pediatrics 2006 by Hort and others, and they reported 3% of births have genetic defects in the 
population. So this compares very favorably with the 1% found by the Vase of Isostomy Study Group. And only our own experience here at the Reversal Clinic over the past several years, being made aware of hundreds and hundreds of births and children. I can remember one child out of the hundreds with Down syndrome. So our own experience and the scientific evidence is that this should not be a concern for you as you or your loved one moves toward vasectomy reversal. Well, thanks again for watching. This is Dr. David Wilson at TheReversalClinic.com, and we'll see you on the next video.